Hey guys, uh, it's Lucid. Welcome back. Um, yeah, we're going to pick back up. I was going to really just record tomorrow, messing with the mic. Uh, but I've, I have kind of have some free time, and I've been itching to play this again. So uh, we're going to go ahead and play. This is how I'm going to spend my Sunday. Um, okay, so uh, last time we ended up beating a map, but it was pretty ugly. Like, we died a lot. It was not clean at all. But it's okay, we're just getting into the game. Um, so now we gotta figure out where we're gonna go next. And I'm not completely sure. And one second, I gotta log in so I can see the chat. Um, but we have a few different shards to pick from. There's two that I'm really considering. One is, okay, I'm logged in now. This way. Sorry, one second. Okay. Um, and I check the chat like every five or ten minutes. Okay, so one would be this one. Because getting this crystal of power is cool. It allows you to get quests. And you get gems. And sometimes you're on a map without many gems. And so it's nice to have. And then the theater is really good. Because now pubs are going to basically generate positive mood in your provinces. Which can be really important for preventing unrest and revolts and all that. Um, a fort's... Um, it basically, you can increase, uh, you can basically add a better garrison, have better wall strength, and it adds a battle tower, uh, and allows you to hire a certain kind of guard. Local militia guard sounds kind of shitty. I, I actually don't know all the guard traits. I was kind of reading up a little bit between uh, my first recording and this one in terms of, like, some of the mechanics. There's actually a guide that has all of the new content for uh, New Horizons, which is this modded version of Eodor. Um, and you can kind of browse it. And it's actually really cool because it's in English. When I was originally playing vanilla, to look at all of the like the units and stuff, I had to go to this Russian website and like Google Translate it and stuff like that. So it's really hard. But actually with the guide, it's actually easier than vanilla to see what units are out there. But um, militia have different effects. They have upkeep. I mean, your guards have different effects. They can have upkeep costs and they can give different effects to your provinces. So it could be if militia aren't good at... Like defending, uh, they may give some positive benefit to the province. So I, I can't say for sure that it's not good. Or the Forester's Guild, which is actually pretty sick uh, for forest provinces. Because um, you get the Forester's Guild, which I think increase your income in forest provinces. This shard, less good. Sage's Guild, it's good because this is a predecessor to unlocking a lot of other technology. This isn't super important. The brewery's nice. Um... But, yeah. I mean, it's good. But we'll come back. I This one may be the best. Mercenaries Guild, super important. Herbalist Guild, um, pretty nice. I don't know what berry farms do in Swamp Provinces, but that would be nice. Especially if we want to do, like, a mage playthrough. Market, five income. Reduce all cost of buying resources by 10%. Allow building a storehouse. Storehouses are really important. This is how you can like repair things far away from your capital without having to run back. So this is pretty tempting. But I may be more tempted by this. Forster's Guild plus these two. I think these are really good. So I think this is where we're going to go. Um... So we're going to attack. Now, this is the setup before attacking. So we have energy reserves, which we can spend on doing things. So I could, like, start off with medium armor, which would actually be decent if I wanted to do, like, a warrior playthrough, which at some point we'll do. But I think for now, I want to do scout again in, like, a clean run. I kind of messed up so bad. Um, and as we get farther, things like wizards, like, wizard playthroughs, as we have more technology, is going to be a lot better. But, like, wizards, I think, kind of cap out pretty fast. We can do a commander playthrough. I think we're going to do Scout one more time, and then maybe we'll do Commander next. Um, you can also get multiple heroes, so we'll probably end up getting multiple heroes. But for right now, uh, your first hero is kind of more important. The bigger the maps are, the more important multiple heroes are. And you're not really just playing, like, only one. Yeah, you can also add gold and stuff like that, so that's kind of cool. Okay, let's attack. Okay, so we start off in a province with a lot of forest and 
uh, a few planes. Also, at some point, I can hear my laundry machine going off. I'm going to have to run downstairs and turn it off. Otherwise, it's going to beep at me for like four hours. You might not be able to hear it, but it's going to eventually piss me off. Um, it had it had one minute left on it, and I was like, okay, I'll just wait for it to finish. And I sat there staring at it for like five minutes, and it didn't change from one minute left. I'm like, okay, this is like a, like a Windows loading sign. I'm not going to sit here and wait for you. Um, so we have four some planes. So this means usually if you do a mage build, you definitely want to start with, um, like swamps near you because those generate the most, uh, magical gem income. Oh man, this is such an easy start. No barbarians. We have brigands and free settlements. Um, the locations we've got here, brigands, hell cohort, that's hard. Brigands, that's easy. Skeletal pack, I think we can do, I'm not sure. Ogres, that's hard. Ancient Guards. Slave Drivers, don't know about that. Uh, I think these might be Kobold type units. Adventure is easy. So we've got a few, quite a few things we can do. So we're actually going to do the same build order. Which I know it's going to be boring, and I promise we're not... We'll do a different one next time. Uh, put down here, if you have other things that work. I know other things that can work is like Shaman and Barbarian, and you just aim at killing everything really fast. Um, you could probably do a Thieves playthrough. I could imagine that working. thing is, like, Attrition is a motherfucker, and Barbarians tend to kind of die until they get really high level. Pikemen, I think, are kind of inferior to Swordsmen, but I could be wrong. Um, you could do... Yeah, I don't know be kind of fun to do maybe a few swordsmen with a lot of archers in the back. Maybe that's how we do a commander playthrough, like a mix of archers or crossbowmen. Um, but anyway, for now, I think we're going to do the default, and we'll try to just do it better. Uh, but I promise next time we'll do a more interesting thing. So we did the forge first, which is a predecessor to doing the swordsman school. We're going to go ahead and get our hero. Come on, buddy. I think hill knowledge is still the way to go. Yeah. And we'll just patrol our first province. And then we'll intern. And, uh... Here we go. Tower ruins. We see imp and spawn. So actually, these aren't super hard, but yeah, we're obviously not going in right now. Retreat. Um... Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and get our swordsman school and we can recruit our units. Oh, we didn't really get rid of our starting army, which... Put him in the garrison. And we'll recruit three of these guys like before. Okay, here we see original game artwork. Uh, Photoshopped Legolas. I guess if we're playing a scout, it's a little more realistic than playing uh, Halle Berry. But, uh... Okay. Um, now we're actually going to expand. We have free settlements nearby, which are kind of easy for us. So let's go over here. Um, we built our things. There's nothing to do. Oh, super easy. A militiamen, uh, slingers, and spearmen. And then we'll just put everybody down here. This is going to be easy. We're going to try to do this fast. Check chat real quick. Got quite a few messages. Uh, how often are you going to stream this uh, day? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how many times. Uh, probably this will be my last stream, probably, but it might be a long time. I might, it might be like a three-hour stream. Um, try to find a shard with damage spells. Don't jinx it. How, how do I find a shard with damage spells? You need web for the barbarian build. Ah, that's a good point. What uh, if you're gonna do the barbarian build? What? Uh, It, what what hero do you do for a barbarian build? Do you think it's like commander? They can get some spells, or you could do I don't know. The thing I worry about barbarians is like getting picked off at range, like mass archers versus barbarians. I don't know what you do. Um, and the thing is, like you you have one stack that kind of has to plow through everything. Okay, let's get ready. Um, what <laughs> what's the loaded statement about Halle Berry? That she's, she's not a good ranger. 
a good scout. I guess it's like a Catwoman themed scout. Maybe that's maybe that's realistic. Okay, let's shoot you. Let's have you guys run forward. Shoot you. Yeah, we actually had a really hard start last time. Oh, somebody asked if we restarted. Hell no, we're not restarting. We freaking we won the last game, man. You might not have stayed to the end. Um. Yeah, we we only got defeated four times, but in the end, we didn't get discouraged. We respawned our hero. We took our beatings in the game, and uh, we came out ahead. Oh, you fucker! Okay, killing with our hero, we're gonna get some levels. What? Come on, guys. All right, it's a plains largely explored, but not super well developed. Uh, but n this is gonna be like a, a juicy province later. I think we can go ahead and expand up here. Uh, let's build. We can build an altar, which is a prerequisite for getting our little lady, our healer. And we'll get them next turn, hopefully. Uh, our balance sheet. Oh, somebody asked what the skills on our guy were. Okay, we're plus two. Nice. Okay, what are the skills on my guy? We started off with the best one, marksmanship. Schwing. That's really good. That's really, really good. This is a great start. That was a great start. We're going to we're going to make it look kind of easy. Also, I had put a a post on the uh, the Steam forum for Eador just saying I was doing a, a series so if any lurkers there wanted to join. Somebody asked what difficulty setting and I told him I was doing um Oh god, I forgot what what we have it on. But like basically medium. And he was like, "Well, one up from that or two up from that. I can't remember. We'll go check." Uh, is actually a pretty good balance. So if we feel like we get it in the bag, we can change the difficulty as we go along. Okay, let's attack. The other thing I want to do is like a sub goal for this uh, series where it will be different than the last episode is I really want to get a minor race. Like last time we had the slug faction, but I really, really, really want to get a minor race this time. And there's some minor races that are really hard to get because you have to like discover a layer and there's no guarantee you're going to discover it. But some are more reliable. Like, I think the goblins and the orcs uh, and the... Who else? The goblins, the orcs, uh, the lizardmen, the halflings. I think they have reliable kind of quests to, uh, to free them. Not bad. Oh man, look at that. Plus one range. Just making me happy. What a great starting skill. So that one just gives us plus range damage, which, I mean, it's just pure and wonderful. I think we'll take the hit point. Oh, and a horse nearby with barbarian tribes guarding it. We can't take that now, but we can take it soon. Brigand outlaws. I think we gotta go home, because our weapon is probably about tired out. And we can pick up a healer soon. Maybe we try to level up. Our guys aren't very low on hit points. A knowledge store? Guys, this gives us spells. If there's really good spells here, we might try to make a second character into a wizard. Because normally the problem with wizards early in the game, before you have a lot of tech, is you don't have cool spells, and so they cap out. Uh, there's nothing here really that I can kill. But we're just going to go stick our head in there, because we're here. What do I have here? I don't know if these are any good. These are that weird, like, bird indie. Undead. Skeletal pack. Undead. Okay, so this one doesn't have much, but it has some. I don't know if we can do the skeletal pack, but I think we can do the undead. Okay. And there's definitely a lot here. So... I think we're going to check the wizard shop out, then we're going to come back to our base. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get this. We'll get our healer. Well, you know... I think the healer is important versus barbs. We're going to see how many barbs are here. Because before I run my ass back up this way, I want to see. And if there's only like three, then we're going to go ahead and attack it. If there's four, I'm going to want to attack it. But so that I don't have two fuck-up campaigns in a row, I'm going to run back. Be a good boy. Okay. 
Okay, enter the shop. Special order. Create go golem scroll for you. Deal. Yeah, okay, let's look at his scroll. So we have Celestial Shield, which increases range defense of all friendly units within one tile by four and resistance by one. It's pretty cool. Bane of the Wicked. Grants the target the ability Smite Evil, Hunter of Demons, and Hunter of Undead. Seems kind of cool. Cure Wounds. Triple Blade. This is something we can research, so not a big deal. Suicide. What the hell? A lot of these are modded. Uh, target with resistance of four or less. Uh, target with resistance of four or less. Uh, inflict double damage on itself. Has no effect on it. So I guess it makes them attack themselves. Holy shit. For a lot of damage. Huh. What does it say about Chaos Lord? Okay. Summon Lord of the Abyss, guys. This is why we might go... Like, we might... If we get a second character, it's going to be a wizard, and we're going to get this fucking spell. <laughs> the thing is, it will affect our karma a lot. Like, it makes us evil. And it, what your karma will also affect is which neutrals will ally with you. So... And I think it's persistent. I don't think it's, like, game to game. I think it's persistent. So we have to be careful about casting this a lot. But... Maybe we don't. I mean, maybe it's going to be more fun to be evil. Let me know what you think. Oh, man, that would be cool. That, I mean, <laughs> man, kind of wish I got a mage now. But I'm being, you can't know what shops are around. Reincarnation. This is resurrected. It's cool. Natural weapon. Targets attack by five. Replenish ammo, too. It's kind of cool. Only works on animals. Freeze. I just freezes you. Immobilize the target. Deals 8 points of magic damage. Tar target's armor is increased by 1. Last 6 turns. That's cool. So anyway, I'm glad I checked. The <laughs> Lord of the Abyss. Look, it costs 4,500. That is expensive. This is like an in-game spell. And we could potentially get it uh, at, at the beginning. That would be really cool. Um, okay, anyway, we're going to go check this out like I said we would. Um, and I would spend money on things, but let's take a look at what our income is. Eight. It's not much. Wait, are there... There's two opponents on this map, guys. we got to kill two people, so it's going to be twice as hard as last time. Um, okay, so Tavern... How much is it going to cost? I've already got this thing, didn't I? I got it, so I just have to buy one. I think we have enough money. We'll get a tavern. that will give us a little bump in, in income. So now we're at 10. Uh, we'll go check this place out. It's only three. I said we would do it. Fuck that. Come here, boy. Oh, man. We could potentially time out the battle by accident, which is not something I want to do. If you move and shoot, which is what I just did, you end up using uh, more fatigue. We gotta probably pull this guy back a good bit. Ow. It's actually good though. It's, like, it's not gonna be able to hit him next turn, so we're kind of distributing the damage around. That's over. Now, we do need to be a little careful about this guy. Okay. 
Range defense, thank you. Okay, and now we need to go home. But guys, we took three provinces before we went to go back to heal. That's an extremely good start for us. We are already headed off in the right direction. Okay, checking comments. You need a lot of levels for tier four spells. That's the damn truth. Um, so reading through the comments, uh, only play in pure. Oh man, there's a lot. Elves? This game is brutal. Oh, easy. Uh, on easy. Don't trust anyone except yourself on difficulties. That's true. We're going to play a few on competent. That's the one we're at. We're at competent. But the guy was saying play on expert. He says it's the right balance of like punishing and challenging. Which we, we'll try to work our way up to, I think. But we're not going to go there in a hurry. Um, okay, if you don't use barbarian spells are vital uh, for scouts to damage units that are out of their range or have extreme range defense. Yeah, that's true. Um, be evil. Copy. Uh, same dude selling holy spells uh, and, s <laughs> and summon Lord of the Abyss. That's kind of funny. I guess he's a true mercenary. Embrace your evilness. Bad karma is more fun. Okay, guys, I guess we'll go bad karma. I kind of wanted to. Let's do it. I mean, I do play all the undead factions. The good thing about taking this too is I now have the horse resource. Orcs and barbs, we can kill both those. So we have, this, this is a great start. Just an absolutely great start. We just need to not mess it up. Uh, okay, we'll do this. We still have enough money to get, and we have three planes, so we want to be able to build mills. So what that means is in our capital, this is a huge priority, and it's going to be cheap now too. We only need 100 gold. How much ammo do I have? One. That's not much. Okay, is there anything I think I can kill here? No, those, those are all hard enough. I don't want to risk it. Even if there is a biscuit. Okay, we're going to build another thing. Hopefully we build this. Okay, we have to do some math. We're getting 25 a turn. I need to get a healer next turn. It's very important. Um, well, maybe not that important. We're going to go ahead and do it. Because my guys are going to be healed from two turns of marching without fighting. So I can probably... And I don't have enough commander space to get a healer. So we can probably do a quest in my capital next turn. Uh, we're going to repair. That we do need to do. Oh, sorry. One second. I swear to God, I have my phone on Do Not Disturb, and it's disturbing me. Anyway. Here we go. Okay, so... Uh, I think what we're going to do, we're going to go in one of these. We can do the Brigands... Okay, wait, before we do this, some of the quests we get could be influenced. So this is Savage Woods. I forget what that is. That's hard. That's like weird jungle monsters. Orcs. We could try to befriend the orcs. The quest to befriend your orcs is you have to plunder your own province. Which I don't know how it works. You have to plunder 300 gold out of your province. So you're really going to like ruin one of your provinces. I guess I could plunder it from like an orcish province. And they would constantly be rebelling. Or I could just do it with a province I don't really care about. I'm not sure. But that's what it would take to... And befriending the orcs, it's going to give us high tier units, potentially. But... It's not going to give us much economy. So let's see. Ideally, we do uh, one of the other ones. I don't really want to plunder my own shit. So we might conquer the orcs. Plus, it's another plane. Um, the, there's a quest to kill brigands to get, I think, the... Maybe the elves? Or the maybe the halflings. You have to kill brigands or the dwarves. I can't remember. If any of you know... Or can look it up. Um, okay, if we're going evil, does that make chat evil minions? Yeah, guys. You guys are going to be guilty by association. 
I mean, good is boring. I think I've always, I don't know why I was, when I was a kid, I remember like never wanting to play the evil factions because I was like really religious and I thought it was like bad. And then as I got older, I realized there's so much more flavor in the, in the evil factions. I think we'll kill the skeletons first. I think we know what can happen with the adventurers, so we'll be a little careful. Where's the undead? Did I just go past it? I thought there was an undead somewhere. Skeletal pack, there was undead. Am I blind? Okay, I guess we'll go after uh, bandits. Uh, and hopefully this gives us enough to start building mills. And hopefully we get a level. Okay, we can take that. Oh shit, this guy's low. I should have checked. I think we got it. Is this what y'all are going to do again? You're going to make me walk forward? Assholes. Okay. Okay. Come at me, bro. Okay, this guy's in severe jeopardy. But he can only be attacked from one square, which means he's always going to get to use his parry. If I move him, they can attack me. I don't particularly want that at the moment. I think we just let him hit me. Okay, this guy got attacked twice. He's in a little bit of jeopardy. Okay, I think we're okay. Yeah, that was close. We almost lost somebody. Don't want to lose anybody. My other goal is to evolve one of these guys. I want to get a sub-faction in this game, like one of the elves or somebody, and I want to get one of these guys to level 10 and upgrade them. Oh, I guess we could potentially get that spell from, uh, from that scor uh, scroll trader. I, I guess attacking brigands means it's possible. Plus one range already? Oh, man. Okay, we got magic plus one, which isn't really what we need. Attack, counterattack, stamina, shield. Got a lot of money. Okay, so we can turn this into a mill. And we probably need to go ahead and hire... We're going to swap you out with somebody, I guess. Swap you out with you. You're the lowest. What is that? Um, okay, we could continue going here. Get some permanent income. That would be nice. Or we could go in here and conquer another thing, which is kind of what I want to do. I think we go after brigands again. I don't want to do adventures yet. Okay. I'm going to be a little dicey, guys. Okay, these guys are, like, running at me. Um, we might be able to kill them. 12? How much damage do we do? 8. Okay, we can't kill them. Okay, we... Okay. 
can smack the shit out of that guy, though. This guy is going to come attack me, but he's not going to do any damage. He's too low. I don't know where this guy's going to go. Okay. That's not ideal. We're getting a little too low on our hero. And I think this guy, if we move this guy off this tile, then this guy can get to my healer, which I don't want. We're gonna kill him almost. Okay. This guy is gonna get hurt a lot this turn. Okay. We're a little bit in the red. That guy's gonna hit my healer. Is he gonna be able to kill him? I've got 10 hit points. He does 9 damage. He can't kill him. I say that and he's gonna get like a lucky roll. 8. Okay. Um. We're gonna heal ourselves. That was kind of close. Terrible luck. Okay, we want this one to give us mobility. This is like the second best skill, and we got command plus one. So we can now have like a normal sized group. Shield bash, hell yeah. Good for fighting hard enemies. Hit points, and we got a, uh, a healing uh, metal. For those of you who don't know, you when your units level up, you get like a random stat, but you can also, if you meet special requirements, you can randomly get a medal, which has nothing to do with leveling up, really. It's more like if you achieve certain things, you get a medal, but medals cost you upkeep. So, uh, fortunately, we have spots now for our last guy. Now we just need some easy fights to heal on. I don't know where we'll do that. Let's repair all our gear. I think we need a better bow. That might be our next little thing we worked on. No, we're going to get mills up everywhere first. Because this is going to be our biggest income generator. I love this game too. It puts like the little graphic in the province. And these are like the graphics are like they hold up over time. Like these are good looking graphics in my opinion. The mills are like a cool little graphic. Okay, so now what do we do? Um, I'll take a quick update, look at chat. Um, okay, not too much going on. Um, okay, we could go, yeah, I think we're not going in there. And we need an easy encounter. So I think we're just going to take these forests. I think it's just going to be our next move. We'll get our little cap ring cleared. Here, we want to work our way towards the archery building. Uh, but maybe... Actually, let's go here. And that will... I don't know if it will reveal this one, too. Maybe we go here. We'll go here and then there. So... If there's a wood province we can see, then we'll delay on building the wood buildings. If there's not, then yeah. Oh, I didn't build anything in my capital. Yeah, we're basically saving money to build mills. Once I have mills, we'll do other things. Okay, more brigands. Right, 
fucker. One? Oh, shit. How do you have so much range defense? What the fuck is going on? What's this forest knowledge? We should have backed him up. Oh, they went for my hero. Thank God. Okay. He has to move here and heal my hero. Okay, he's down to zero. And he's got seven. We do seven damage. Oh, man. We're gonna back him up. This guy, like, we're in, we're in bad shape right now. There's a chance one of our swordsmen's gonna die. Okay, that was the perfect move, because now they can't... What I'm really worried about is if they both attack the same guy, then the guy doesn't get a parry on his second attack. But I'm definitely not healing up through these battles. Like, I'm barely keeping up with the damage dealt. There's wood with brigand outlaws. Is this explored much? 75. Okay, this is explored. Easy. I just want easy, guys. I need to heal. Undead are slow. Maybe we go after the undead. That might. Maybe we can just fully expend our healing before they get over to us. You know, I. They haven't been. Okay, no. Maybe they did run at us. But if they don't run at us, then we also potentially get to heal. Okay, we get to build our next mill. Now our income should be hopping. Yeah, we're at 44. We're way, we're so far ahead of where we were the last playthrough. We're like so far. Um, okay. Oh, he's on a hill? He's going to be able to hit me. I think we actually have to occupy this bottom corner so he gets his ass off that hill because the hill is going to give him plus one range. Put these guys down here near my healer. He's going to be here in one turn. He's out of the forest. We can nail him. These guys are, like, very terrain-dependent. If they're in that forest, we can't hit them. If they're on a hill, they shoot farther. Come at me, bro. Now, this guy's gonna hit for a fair amount, because we don't have parry. Got two ammo left. Okay, I had him rest so he didn't counterattack, which I kind of wanted. It also meant he would target him. I want this guy to get a medal. And if he takes over his HP and damage, I think that's one of the criteria for getting getting a medal. And ending his hit points low. So I'm actually gonna let him end low. Perfect. I think like this, there's a good chance he gets a medal. <sighs> okay, this is the other good skill. Precise shot. So we're going to get that one. 
And we got p command plus one. That's the best. Oh my god, guys. Got a healing medal. Nice. Shield bash. Nice. Guys, we didn't get a... No medal for our, our warrior, even though we were trying to engineer it. Um, how much ammo do we have? We have five left. That's probably enough to go take this out if there's not too many brigands here, and that will give us the forest resource, which we which we definitely want. Uh, I wonder if there's something here with horses we could make. I think it's going to be better just to wait a turn. We're really gold constrained, so spending every turn doesn't exactly matter unless we're spending things that are going to give us gold. Okay, easy. And now we can heal this guy this turn and just wait for them to run across. So if we can see them on the first turn, then that means we they get initiative. If we can't see them, we get troop placement. Okay, if we can see them, we can place our troops on the spot on the map where we want, but then they get initiative. If we can't see them, then we put our troops down, then their troops pop up, but we get initiative. So it's kind of a weird little mechanic, but I guess important. We get five shots with this guy, and then we're out of arrows. Gotcha, bitch. Okay, and he cannot get in here. That's where that hex ends, so we are duly protected. Okay, easy peasy. Range defense, very nice. Okay, this province is constrained. Holy shit, this is kind of a big map. Way bigger than the other one. Um, so this province is constrained by exploration. So we kind of want to explore here. Um, but we also need to repair our stuff. So I think we'll explore up to 20 and then we're going to head back home. Now, now that we have a, a lumber source, these buildings are way cheaper. Like, this is only 50. This would have been 100. So, definitely worth it to wait. This building is also cheaper with a stable. I think we're going to build this one. It's going to give us income from horses. Uh, it's going to speed up movement through the capital by one. Yeah. So, that's going to give us income. Then we're going to build this, and then we'll probably build that. Okay. So we have our first event. Uh, your governor in the province of Discord Grasslands reports that a certain rat man who calls himself Plague Master <laughs> Hello, I am the Plague Master. <laughs> God, I mean, you'd even get looked at funny at a D&D &D table if you introduce yourself that way. I am the Plague Master. Uh, asks for permission to perform some magical experiments. He is willing to pay 90 gems for your permission. Uh, that's probably going to piss off the population, and I don't really need gems, so no thank you. Mm, we need money. Okay, it didn't piss them off, so that's good. Okay, we're going to explore one more turn, which will get us up above 20, and then this population will start growing again. Um, okay, we need to build this, which is going to unlock... No, we just need to build it. Now we can, next turn, we can build a Carpenter's Guild. Then we can start building lumber mills and are now plentiful. We have three wood pro or forest provinces, so that's going to be good. Uh, we're probably pretty rich now. 50 income. Nice. Uh, we can't build anything here. Like, we can only build mills, but we've already built mills in all our planes, so we're, we're kind of tapped out on production. Okay, we're going to go ahead and end turn. Okay, we explored 5%. 
and uh, that is all right. So now we should be, yeah, this is no longer red, which means our population's growing again. And that also means we're gonna march our ass back home. So what buildings do we have? A witch's circle. Okay, so Carpenter's Guild. Thank you, please. And then to build them, it's gonna take some money. 60 gold, so we don't quite have enough, but that's okay. We'll have some next turn. So here we're gonna build the sawmill. Um, then we're going home. Next turn we should be able to build another sawmill here. Building sawmills in the redwood places give you like additional income. I forget what it is. Yeah, two. So that was nine. We're, we should be up in the 60s. Yeah. And this is going to get us up. Once we have two more built, we're going to be up in like what? 70? 78? High 70s? Okay. First priority is getting our items repaired. Ten gold. Um, probably want another one of these. That way we can kind of go out exploring longer. And uh, next we're gonna build a sawmill here. Uh, and so now potentially we'll go in another Oh, we can get another unit, too. Shit. I don't have enough money right now. Should we try Adventures and see if we get Dwarven Rampaged again? Unless you don't know the last... Uh, I did this this morning. We had a Dwarf, like, kill my entire party. Oh, man. Uh, I don't think we're ready for Adventures. I wonder what's in the Skeletal Pack. Let's just check it out. We're just looking. A necromancer and harnas? If I've never heard of them, we're not doing it. The enemy is doomed? Yeah, no thank you. Last time they baited me and, oh, the enemy's doomed, I went and attacked and I got like absolutely massacred when I had no idea what the units were. And I mean, I know what necromancers are. Necromancers are rank two units, which like tier two, which I don't have any tier two units. And the other ones I don't know, and they may suck, but. We're about to get another dude, so I would rather not risk it. Have we, con we haven't conquered this yet. Okay, we gotta go conquer this ASAP. And then we might as well get this, because we can go ahead and build a sawmill there. Okay. Kind of, we're fighting kind of a lot of the same units at this point. Okay, they're gonna get to go first. I need this guy to get out of the woods before he shoots me. So I want to pull back to make sure, because I think he's in range right now, but I don't think he'll. He okay. He would have to move. If we kept him up, they might have shot him, and then he'd stay here, and then he wouldn't die. Just, damn it. Just like what? All right, come at me, bro. Perfect. Attack, probably better value. Resistance. Uh, a leader calling for an uprising has appeared in the province of Discord Grasslands. He stirs strife among discontent people. If you don't stop uh, the rebel, you may soon have an insurrection on your hands. Nothing can be done. It's true. I can't do anything. I don't have any money. Though, very shortly, we will have money. 
please be like, oh, free settlement humans. Another easy one. Savage Woods. This is hard. We're not going to take that. But this one we can take. Sites here. Things look hard except for the... No, everything looks hard. Um... Okay, what's our next target? I think it was this. Because we're we've already built a lot of the income buildings. Do we build a sawmill? We did. Okay, not hard. Um, I think we might scoot these guys forward. Should be easy. Our, these guys are just so strong defensively. I should get a watch out. Over here is getting kind of mauled, but it's kind of okay. This is, I'm trying to get through these quickly because this actually is not terribly hard. Unlike some of the battles we had last time. Okay, when we get this up to level three, that plus one mobility is huge. But this is going to give us hill knowledge plus one, so that's good. Range defense. Oh man, another easy province to take. I think I want that. What do we have here? Giant lands, that sounds hard. Centaur lands, that sounds hard. Savage woods, that sounds hard. So we've got like this border of hard stuff to take up here. And then we've got this easy one. So it's pretty obvious which... I think we've taken now all the easy, the easy stuff near me. We're going to go ahead and swap out arrows. Uh, we're going to go ahead and build a sawmill. Guys, we're going to be close to 100 income already. At this time in the last game, we were at like 20 by this turn or like 25 it was bad we're like still resurrecting our heroes and shit it's like instead of building things or conquering stuff good i i wanted to do the scout right before we moved on to like another hero i want you guys to see why it was a good hero What should we do now? Um, I have a fair amount of money. Uh, we don't have any... A granary in provinces might not be bad. That might be what we build. Now we can start pooping out little granaries. And all of our like places that have a high amount explored, like this place 75, those will be the first to get granaries. Um Yeah. Okay, nine people, that's a lot. There's a veteran. And a Pike, no, pikemen aren't hard. Veterans are kind of hard. Will we be able to kill them? I'm not actually sure. I think we'd actually lose something. I don't think we're strong enough. I think we're going to retreat. I'm going to be a pussy. Thing is, we're not fully healed. This guy's a little low. Okay, we are kind of healed. We probably could have done it. Let's go upgrade our items, and then we'll come back and do it. Kill the orcs. 
I said we'd assimilate somebody. The only people around that we could assimilate are orcs. We have to plunder a bunch of our shit. And we may have to actually have to have negative karma to assimilate the orcs, which we don't have. Hmm. Not terribly sure. I mean, we're going to get a lot bigger. We'll, we could run into other neutrals. Potentially. Okay, let's make our way back. In terms of building... Uh, we built that. Okay, let's go ahead and build this. Increase mood in our capital by one. Okay, the deputy of the province of Rejuvenating Thicket informs you that a hero called the Vanquisher of Ogres has turned up in their lands. Recently, he's found an ogre's lair in the province and has cleared it out. The people say he's obtained great spoils. The Vanquisher of Ogres has taken the backpack cram full of goods. We'll probably piss off the population, but we might get some good shit. I think we're going to roll the dice on this one. Give me half of your shit. Let's do it. We're, we're playing evil. You guys said play evil. Let's catch the insolent fellow and take everything. Oh, guys. Are we glad we did it? I don't even care what happens. Oh, man. Oh, man. Gold income plus five. Hello. Crystalline sphere. Decreased spell cost plus ten. Oh, sorry. Why won't my thing shut up? Let's check the chat real quick. I, I'm turning the volume. I thought I've already turned the volume off on my phone, but maybe I need to restart it. Sorry. I keep having it. Okay. Here we go. So, shit. This is like kind of a Jimmy Rig setup I have for live streaming. Because I have to like look at my phone. To, I, normally I would just turn my phone off, but I have to look at it to... Um, to see what you guys are saying. And then apparently Do Not Disturb is not stopping my calls from coming through. Okay, so we're going back, but fortunately we found some pretty sick gear. It's going to be in our inventory back at our capital, so we're going to have to go there to get it. We also got a shit ton of gold, which we can use to build useful things, like... Um... This would be good. We got the money. Okay, so if we do that then we can build, we'll go ahead and build a granary here. We can upgrade this to a stable. It's gonna give us additional income from horses. So we got 164 gold. We, stables are expensive there. Um, yeah. Significantly increased population growth, income plus three and income plus horses plus five. So it's gonna be plus eight. So it's expensive for plus eight. But it's the cheapest thing I'm going to get for... I mean, I don't really have many ways to increase my income right now. So we're up to 100. We've broken 100. Um, we're going to go ahead and re-equip our hero with... Oh, wait. Did I not take the gear? Did I... When I let him go... I didn't want to give him his gear back. I, I guess I had to kill him to take his gear. Guys, I just fucked up I don't I didn't get that awesome gear that I was like super stoked about what a bummer what a horrible horrible bummer oh no here it is I did take his gear nomad arrows thank you so now we don't need to build that little carpentry thing we've 
I mean, we've got this, which is just as good. The Nomad Arrows. And then the Dwarven Crossbow. It's going to give me more gold. The Shortbow, I... how much durability is on this? 50? Yeah, I don't really need this Shortbow. If we end up building a wizard, this would be pretty nice. Gym income plus five. That's kind of sick. I think I kind of want to get spells on my guy too. Maybe we try to find something we can do in our capital this turn. And next turn we'll build the thing to get spells. I think we can take... I think we can take the demons out. Oh no, we can take the adventurers because I got this new bow. Let's show you the bow. All right, adventurers, come. Who's this guy? Keep you in the woods. You said, the, the woods give you a little bit of range protection. So it's less likely we get insta killed by that guy or this guy. that oh you got a lot of armor dwarf don't you what is this guy a kobold oh 10 damage you're not so tough anymore i don't think we're gonna be having any dwarf rampages this game sorry to disappoint get wrecked How easy was that? Melee defense, probably the best one we can get. 100 gold, 6 gems. Okay, we need to explore there. Okay, building in our capital. We do kind of need backup arrows that don't suck. And we also need guards. We might do this guard, the one that comes from doing the pikemen. That was that seemed to deter a lot of the raiding last time, and they weren't terribly expensive. Oh wait, the Brethren of Light increases population mood, unit recuperation sped up by ten percent. Okay, but they're not very good at defending. It's more for like cheering people up. How much do they cost? Five upkeep. It's not very bad. I think we're gonna go for these. These guards, they give... They give us the patrolmen, which... Reduces unrest growth rate. If we do want to do the orc quest, we could potentially put these guys there while in some province. While we basically smash the shit out of them. And then when there's a, an eventual revolt, they'll just hit the patrolmen. And it may be okay. I think we said it was a sub goal. I'm not going to pussy out. We're going to do it. So part of our plan to plunder province is to do the orc quest, which we haven't even gotten yet. But I'm pretty sure that's what the quest is for orcs. Is going to be we need patrolmen in the province that we're going to be plundering. And then we have to pick which one it's going to be. It's like preferably a non-terribly valuable province. Let's finish our... Let's do demons. Well, let's go up here. We'll talk to the orcs. Let's make sure we repair our shit first. Uh, have we built all the shit we need to build? Oh, no, we need to start building granaries.
Okay, seeing the hero the orc leader shouts, human in orc lands, human meat is food. Human tooth is decoration. Humans fights. Wait, I offer you alliance. Okay, I guess we'll kill them. They don't really want to ally. I think our karma is not high enough, or low enough. Look at this big, goofy looking orc. So the orcs have like murdered me before. That was another group I lost in the uh, previous series too. But fortunately there's only one. He summons these and these do like earth spikes at me, which freaking hurt. They have range defense of 5 and 9 HP. We have, what, armor piercing? God, my dog's going crazy outside. Um, the target's range defense is effectively halved against the scene of terrain to attack. Not valuable when shooting a car below. Okay. So... Uh, his range defense is going to be halved. So let's say it's 3. I've got to do 9 damage. I start out with 12, and it's going to subtract 3. It'll do 9, and therefore it should kill it. Okay. So that's good. I'll just sit here and stall. He can do it again. He's about out of it. Yeah, he can't even cast it again. Okay. So that's good, because those things did a shit ton of damage before. And if I didn't have that cool bow, I wouldn't have been able to do that rest one turn okay he's gonna move up here and then zap him in the face zap her in the face again uh, and then he should not be terribly hard to kill What's his counterattack? Five. Should we heal him? Shoot him in the face. Let him come up and hit somebody. Shield bash, nice. Maybe we get to heal again. Oh, everybody's full. Hero the kill. Oh, nice. Now we can heal. Get that XP. Oh, did our armor fail? Okay, so we'll just kill him. Mobility plus one. Very nice. And command plus one. Holy shit. Guys, normally you don't get this much command uh, when you level up. We're getting a ton of command, which is the best one to get. Okay, so we've conquered the orcs, which means we can't assimilate them, so we'll have to assimilate someone else. We can't build a mill, though. Orcs, your lands have now been claimed by Lucid Inc. Open a casino. Oh, this thing died. I don't know if that's really worth going home for. Centaurs are going to be hard. Savage Woods are going to be hard. I think we're about ready to take this thing out. So I think that's where we're going to go. We have Mobility 1, so we, should make, we can make it there. Okay. Feel pretty good with this. This probably looks familiar to some of you. This is a lot like the PD or the the guards we were having to kill in the last episode. Okay, and there's only one of these guys. These are the guys who are kind of scary. We're gonna 
shuffle everybody down one to provide a better defensive wall. These slingers can kill my healer. It's actually a little scary. Should I should have moved him here. I think our healer's dead. They're going for a hero. Great. And I think great. The danger zone. I was really worried they were going to kill something. The problem with ranged units is they can focus fire things down so quickly, and then if you have any units who are soft and they get in range, that's like the problem of if you try to run barbarians, kind of, is that you get a few ranged units and it's really hard to have like a lossless play. Like you take attrition. And attrition, well, it's fine financially, it means you don't level your units up, and leveled up units are really good. Okay, we got a healing metal. Very good. Okay, we have an event. This is happening down here. You can see the exclamation point. Uh, the deputy in the province of Gloomy Thickets informs you that a hero known as the Harpy Hunter has turned up in their lands. He beheaded the chief Harpy Witch, who had often kidnapped children in the province. The locals arranged for a festival to honor the victor, but their happiness did not last for long. A flock of harpies came, in fly came flying in, demanding... Uh, the head of the harpy hunter and ten babies to boot. If the pop, uh, pot, if the people refuse, the harpies threaten with slaughter. So the harpies might attack me. I think I can kill the harpies, but I'm gonna probably have to go back. Okay, so we lost this. No, we didn't lose it. I thought we lost it. I don't know what happened. Oh, they're discontent, so they're angry. Maybe we should have given them what they wanted. Uh, okay, we did want to do this guard. To do this, we're going to need the armory. Right here. Well, that's expensive. We don't have iron yet. We revealed a few provinces. We have a Barbarian Tribe province. We have a Brigand Outlaws province. What is this? Undead? Might as well go ahead and do that. Still got durability left. And then after this, we probably have to head back. Okay, we need to be building our granaries too. our income like 120 yeah conquering this too we can build a wood mill here we need to do that next turn okay so this is the skeleton province shouldn't be too hard we've got this spearman who's a little dangerous but if we just bait his spears out with one of these guys we'll be okay and then we'll whoops sorry hit the mic um we'll be shooting these zombies
These guys have like a ton of range resistance, but because we have armor piercing and precise shot, we can just go through it. We actually don't really care about shooting skeletons anymore, which I don't know if I've ever really experienced that before. Normally it's, you never shoot skeletons. So it's like easy mode right now. We're just stomping through this. But a lot of it's luck. A lot of it's luck. Really good starting spot. Summon Mephit. Elemental magic. A weak spirit of the air. Okay. The deputy of the province of Twilight Wood has informed you that an unnaturally dense fog has been hanging over the lands for a whole week and has still not disappeared. People are afraid that if they go outside, they'll be lost in the fog. Many of those who venture out fail to return. Um, buy ropes so the locals don't get lost. Hire a team of adventurers. Dispel the ritual. Okay, very well then. A uh, famous alchemist. Okay, prices went up. Prices went up of iron. That sucks. Because we don't have iron. Um. Okay, we need to build a sawmill here. I don't think there's anything else to explore. These are too hard for us. In our capital, we can build... Uh, this, an inn, attracts better mercenaries. Allows us building a pub in a province. That's probably what we should do. Oh, we need to get this guard structure, though. That's going to be expensive. kind of need to heal ourselves too, so I think we're going to go back home. And we're going to put a pub here. Try to improve morale. Oh, no, I think pubs just give us income. I think breweries allow us to get things better than pubs which improve morale. Upgrading a pub to a tavern. Maybe we do this. It's going to give us income too. Uh, and that's going to be pretty useful. Because if we run into them immediately, I want to have some guards we can put down. We've got a few adventure guards we can just stick down at some point. That's home. Um, did we build all our stuff? We did. Okay, we kind of need to uh, explore, too. Okay, I think we lost the sawmill. Yeah, our sawmill got burnt down. That sucks. Um, okay, so we're back home, so we can repair our junk. This has kind of low durability, so we kind of do want to avoid getting hit. Otherwise, we do that, and then... And that thing's broken. Oh, these are expensive. It costs a lot of money to repair all that. Summon a creature. I don't know how to do that. They look cool, though. It's a rank 2 creature. With a very high parry. Good arrow defense. And they're pretty killy. That would be a good unit to add in to our little group. I don't know if I can... Can I do it? Uh, 
I've got a tier 2 slot open. I have no idea how to do that. We'll save up money. Or I need to go kill some demons. That'll give us some money. I think we can do it. Okay. Go ahead and take that high ground. Now, against demons, they have, like, a, a magic ranged attack. So, it's actually my swordsmen who are more, more vulnerable rather than my healers. And these guys suck, if I recall. Maybe, okay, these are kind of higher level. They might not suck quite as much. I should give myself magic, too. Once these imps are gone, I think the rest is going to be pretty easy. You know, except if they concentrate on one guy. But our healing is pretty superb. And it's going to be hard for them to concentrate when they're dead. Okay. Got a shaman's wand. That's actually going to be good if we get a, a wizard as our next hero. Perci precise shot 2. Very nice. Range defense, very good. Commander's medallion, or metal, four. Summon imp spell, all very good. Okay, we have bumped into our first hero, so we definitely need to plop a guard down here. And this is all we got, so hopefully it works. Uh, but we got a shit ton of money, so we have 400 now. So we can, let's, I have no idea how this works. We're gonna get the duelist. And then we actually have to summon it now. Um, so I have a library. Okay, we don't appear to interface with this through the library. Blade Dancer, that's kind of cool. Don't appear to interface with it through this. Where do I put this thing? It's an item. Okay, so we put it here. It says take it to the garrison. Oh shit, yeah. Worked like a charm. So this guy's significantly more killy, I think, than my other guys. And they have higher parry by a little bit, but these guys have better defensive stats. But this guy has a lot of HP. Either way, welcome to the team, mate. Uh, I think when the stream gets to the two-hour mark, we're at the 124, so in like 30 minutes, I think I'm going to probably go offline, and then I'll come back online in like an hour. I haven't checked chat in a while. Let's see if you guys are chitter-chattering about anything. Um, what happened to the Hinnom playthrough? Yeah, I'm kind of... I'm a little burnt out on recording the, those games right now. The, the Hinnom game is actually done. I gotta put it up. Uh, you need Diplo level 2 to get a doable quest. Diplo level 2 to get a doable quest? Diplomacy level 2? Not sure what that is. I watched earlier stream, but can't catch this one as I have to get up in the morning. Alright, see you later then, uh, Evel. Guardsmen are absolutely the best tier 1 units. Guardsmen... 
tier one unit. What's a guardsman? I think guardsmen are tier two. I think guardsmen are the. Um... Warrior, swordsman, shooting, spearman, slinger, recruiting. Yeah, I think guardsmen are tier two, mate. Um. Yeah, the Assassin PD are really good. Maybe I do get that. Uh, let's take a look. I think th the Assassin PD must be the one from the Thieves Guild. Yeah. I I'm not sure if this is the one you mean, but... I think that's it. They, these actually, I remember fighting against them. It's really hard. They don't cost any money for upkeep. They just reduce population or the province income, which usually is a pretty good deal, and they're cheap. So maybe we do do that. It's cheap. I like cheap. Uh, what do we need? Required buildings tavern. Why can't we build it? We're too poor. Can't build this turn. Okay, we've already built. Uh, okay, we need to repair our items. We'll put this down here in case we get a shaman later. God, I can't repair anything. My stuff's too expensive. Okay, I don't want that. Can I repair now? No, I need 10 more gold. Summon up. I don't really want that that much. Okay, good. We can get back out on the road. Um... I don't have money, so I'm not even sure why I'm looking at what to build. I think we have a pretty good chance of just pushing into them right now. Like, I feel like we're really strong. Um, you know, alternatively, there's a ton of locations we haven't taken advantage of, I'm sure. Undead, we can do. Demons here, we can do. What else do I have here in my capital? Slugs, Hell Cohort, those are kind of hard. These are going to be kind of hard. Undead, Orcs, Rebels. I'm not sure if we can do Rebels. Undead, 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 Demons. Okay, this place just has a ton of stuff we can do. I think we're going to make a little road trip over this way. Oh, let's give you a pup. I don't have any money. Okay. So he didn't attack me this turn. He moved elsewhere. He probably knew better. Uh, let's do the orcs first. This is going to generate a lot of money. And as we get money, we need to spend it on things that are going to pay themselves back. Like that. Okay, orc, bugbear, and ghost whisperer. So here's our duelist. Let's see how he actually does. This is the first mod unit I've had in my army. Not in the vanilla game. Ooh, you got wrecked, honey. We're not actually going to use him because we don't need to. Range defense is good. Simple wand, cudgel, okay. Um, here we're going to build... Wait, which province is this? 42% explored, 39% explored. Go ahead and build a pub here. Uh, here is our main dude. We are going to go... You know, if we get a lot of money, we could get another guy and get that wizard. And then... In... If our income is really crazy, we could try to summon Lord of the Abyss because, you know, reasons. Actually, no, I forget. We have to get a really high experience level, which is unlikely on a map this small. Let's go ahead and start building our stuff, though. We, yeah, we want to do the Warrior's Guild. We're also going to do the Thieves' Guild, so we're going to have our, our choice of 
uh, province guards. So now we can get these guys again, the patrolmen, who I'm pretty happy with. Uh, we're not going to use them for our Orc Incorporation scheme, but that's okay. Just my thing, I can't see a damn thing. Skeletons, bone spearmen, zombies. Pretty sure we got this boss. I probably need another healer, too. My healer to frontline ratio is kind of a little zonky. I wonder what the duelist gets as he levels up. Um, different units have different traits they get as they level up, so it'd be kind of cool to see. I'll go ahead and let him get some of the kills. Points or parry? I think we want parry. Oh, nice! So he got counterattack plus two, weapon damage plus two. We definitely want that as a as a thing. Air shield, not great, but not gonna complain. Uh, undead. Uh, all right, what's our income? I bet you we're at one sixty. Okay, one twenty-four. That's a little a little overzealous. Uh, okay, how do we get our income up? We need... Let's do... Tape. Uh, do this. Den of Thieves, get a little closer to having the assassins, in case we need a different type of PD to slow down our enemy. And let's see how quickly we can kill these guys. I'm going to go in speed mode on this one. And come at me, bro. Okay, they're not coming at me. We gotta move forward. And shoot these guys in the faces. Yeah, this guy's pretty thick. That parry too is really good. So right now he's got parry four. Yeah. Okay. Let's just have him run up here. Oh, nice. Okay, so precision shot three. Magic went up one. We got one to normal defense. Very good. Counterattack or hit points? I think we'll take counterattack. Team of adventurers from the province of Rejuvenating Thicket offers you their services guards. Make an agreement with them. I don't need their services, actually. Okay, this place, actually, we want to put the patrolman guard because you can see they're really unhappy. And as this, when they're unhappy, this thing like goes this way, and then when it gets to the next level... Then they're going to revolt. So. Or basically, the worse this is, the more the unrest thing's going to build. And once it gets to the end, I'm pretty sure they revolt. So what we're going to do is put patrolmen in. Then if it in, it's going to slow the rate at which that bar fills up. And then if they do revolt, they'll have to fight my patrolmen, which is fine. Um... And we're going to keep making money. Maybe we go after something a little more tricky like Rebels. Rather than just beat out the same thing every turn. Which, honestly, like, if you're trying to win the game, is not a bad thing to do. Um, because it is a hard game. Okay, got the Thieves Guild. Okay. Uh, we need to... Did we build?
Mill granary. Let's build a pub. Okay, this isn't hard at all. This was the rebels. I thought the rebels were supposed to be hard. Okay, rebels are easy, guys. I've been... I think last game I didn't ever... There were some rebels and I didn't attack it because I was, like, scared of them. Whoops. Yeah, that duelist makes pretty short work of these guys. So easy. So easy. Uh, what are we gonna build here? Maybe we start. Let's put a tavern in. There's a theater or a brewery. Increases population by two. Pub upgrade. Let's get pubs everywhere first before we start doing pub upgrades. Uh, what is our income up to? One twenty. How is our income not going up? We're like building all these income buildings, and nothing good's happening. Hmm. We probably need to build a magic thing next. I, I think the magic armor was legit. Oh, this was legit too. I really need energy. I think this is like required. So I think we'll go on another one and then at some point we're gonna need to repair our weapons. We'll go back home and then we'll kit out um, with that energy spell. And with, when we have that, we're probably ready to, to go on the offensive and attack. I don't think we've lost a unit yet, guys. There's a special achievement you get if you don't lose any units, and it's really hard to get. It's like keeping one of these from dying the entire game is hard. Normally, I mean, I feel like we're in easy mode right now, especially compared to last game. Like last game, I had my whole party die like four times. I mean, last game, it's the same game, but like the last shard we were on. Get in my belly. Okay, so he gets precise strike so he can go through armor. Kind of cool. Or attack. I think I would rather just have one more damage. It's always going to work rather than precise strike, which only works if they have armor. Though that may work on counter attack. Hmm. Touche. Uh, we can't really carry any more items, too. Okay, we finally exhausted most of the stuff here. We have demons. I think we're going to go do that, and then we're going to peel out. Four left. Should be enough. Okay. And this is the last one for this place. We'll go ahead and build a pub. And our capital will build... What should we build? Okay, we've already built that. I think this is the other one that has things I'm going to want. I'm going to want magic arrow. I mean, magic weapons. Imps and spawns. We'll do this in record time as well. And then after we go back, I think we go try to conquer the world. I think we're strong enough now. Like, ideally, you want to get level 10, which we're kind of close to. Uh, and then you go kill people, especially if you're a scout. Because that's like a really big power spike. I could have targeted it on last time. I wasn't really paying attention. So flying units can actually fly over you. So once you find flyers, they could like come back here and kill that guy. So it's actually really important to kill flyers. Or if you're not killing them, you box your vulnerable units in. So flyers can't fly over your guys and smack them in the face. Right, this guy's a little low. Not 
not terribly hard. Stone Crust. Mobilize an enemy or friendly mortal unit. The target's armor increases by four, resistance by two, less four turns. All ally, an ally recovers four HP a turn, and an enemy loses them. For four turns? That's kind of a lot of healing. I'll take that. We'll probably put that on one of our spots. Uh, I don't even know. Whatever. We don't really need either of these. Okay, time to go back to our cap. Time to build more pubs. Income pretty solid. I think we have most of the things we're going to need. Maybe we go ahead and build this Carpenter's Guild so we can have better arrows as spares. More pubs. And then here we'll do... Okay, now we gotta do our spells. First, let's get rid of shitty items we don't want. Cudgel. That's a shitty item. That's actually gonna go up here. We'll get rid of this, because this is a shitty item now. And that's a shitty item. Shitty item. Cat's reflexes. Target gains vigilance and can attack enemies without incurring a counterattack. It's kind of cool. I think we'll do that. Air shield. Range defense increased by four magic resistance by one. I don't know if we're going to use that. I think we're going to sell that. Stone crust is useful. Air shield is going to sell. Okay, now that we've sold everything, we're going to repair everything. Uh, we probably need decent armor. Let's see if we can build one of those. An armory. Or a tanners. Okay. We can now buy better armor. So that's going to significantly increase our ranged... So we now have some ranged defense, which is nice. It gives us two defense and one ranged defense. That's one of each. We can also get a hat. Some gloves, which are going to give us more hit points. I'm opposed to that. Um, now we need to go to the magic shop and put... Okay, so... A stone crust. Kind of cool. It's a healing and a defense spell. So if somebody's going to die and I just need to keep them from dying, this is going to be the thing. And that happens a lot. I can think of a lot of times where that's going to be useful. Okay, cat reflexes. Magic weapon. Um, astral energy. We're going to want that at least twice. Astral thief. Steals three ammo from the target for the caster. Okay, that's actually going to be really good against those guys who are shooting stupid bolts at us. And actually, yeah. Web could be really good against certain types of guys. I think we'll get that too. But now that I'm looking at it... Magic Weapon I was primarily going to use... I guess it's good for healing, too, kind of. Um, I kind of want two of these, but one's probably enough. Okay, we've repaired our items. Do we have any more people we can hire? No, our slots are full. That's what she said. And uh, I think we're ready to go on the attack. I mean, ideally we get level 10. I don't know if we need it. Don't know if we need it here. We're just so strong. But this, so I think this is actually like a the ideal, like when things are going your way, this is how the game plays. You're like kind of conservative. You take things you can. As you increase the difficulty, what's going to happen in the game, and this will happen too as we get more advanced and like go to harder shards without increasing the actual game difficulty, 
is there's less easy places for us to attack and the provinces get much harder around our cap much faster. So it's actually very difficult to push out and it's very difficult to find easy places like we've been doing to get levels and money. Um, so I'm like, this is how it should look like when it's kind of things are going your way. Okay, wait, can we go all the way out here and attack him? Oh, we can. Look at that movement. Um, oh man, he has Thieves Guard. Mmm. That is some cancer. They have poison attacks. Oh man. I think we can do it, it'll be hard. Thieves and bandits. Let's try it. It's gonna be hard. It said we'll eradicate them in the little tooltip. Don't listen to that shit. This is gonna be freaking hard. How many of these guys have poison? We have to prioritize killing the ones with poison. Poison is what's really gonna, like, murder us here. And we need to keep our healer way in the back. She's just gonna, like, run a little hospital cell for whoever gets hurt. Okay. First thing is we have to find who has poison. This guy does, so the top one. This guy does, that guy does. This guy doesn't, that guy doesn't, that guy doesn't. These guys have two. Okay. So we're, we're gonna snipe dudes who have, oh, potentially, I wonder if they don't have ammo. Um, web could be good. No, we're just gonna kill them. Look, Let's see if they run at me. No, they don't. Okay. Okay, this guy has poison. Apparently, it's gonna take two shots to kill them. Please go get wrecked. Okay, this is really good. They're not all bomb rushing me. If This is going to look easy, just how it's playing, but I swear to God, you get, like, these people throwing poison at you, and you get poison stacks building up on one guy. Oh my god, it's just it's really, really hard. Wait, this guy doesn't have poison? Who has poison? You do? You don't? You don't? You do. Okay. Happily kill you then. Um, I think we're gonna hang tight. We're just gonna pull back. We're gonna play kind of defensive. Um. I think rather than him finish him off, like these guys can kill him. Okay, I could kill a bunch of them this turn. I thought I could kill him too. It's okay. okay there goes the poison effect. Okay, 
we're going to cast... How much mana is this? 12. That's kind of a lot. I think we're going to prefer to use our healer rather than waste 12 mana. Okay. That went pretty well. Okay, so we get to pick a new skill. We got one health. We could get this, which is going to give us better exploration. We could get this, which is going to give us more money. Or we get this, which is going to give us better stuff after battle. Maybe looting? First aid will take... First aid heals me when uh, I rest. So this is like a pinch point coming into my land. So we're probably going to want to have a... A guard here and it doesn't generate much income so there's actually no real downside to doing this gang of thieves which is going to decrease mood and income like I don't care but we'll still probably build a sawmill because you know efficiency okay what do they have here they've got that guardsman here they've got this actually is kind of easy i think we're gonna go here uh we have 200 gold i think we'll take let's check chat real quick Okay, we've got a lot of stuff in chat. I'm going to read through it real quick, so hang tight. Um, okay, this... Oh, the Swordsman, my mistake. Yeah, that's the one I've been using. Uh, the Assassins are basically the Tier 2 versions of those guys. Okay, that's right. I don't know if I can get the Assassins yet. Uh, so I just got the, the Thieves Guild. But I remember the Thieves thing is good. The... It's an awesome guard because it doesn't cost any upkeep. It just subtracts income from your province. So if you put it in like a shitty province like I did, it doesn't really cost you anything. Um, you need peasants for wizard armies. Um, they need a meat shield and then to sacrifice demon summons or to raise as undead. Yeah. Them or spearmen, yeah. Something you can send to die and not care about. Also leave some uh, easy enemies for low-level heroes. Uh, I remember the first time I tried to play Eodor on high difficulty, got wrecked pretty hard. Uh, should have bribed them, in, in my opinion. Oh, potentially that was the guards I was going to fight? Yeah. Uh, Digger's Guild. We'll build this. Increase our population growth in our capital. That's probably worse things. Okay, and we're going here. I think that's it. Okay, so militiamen, slingers, spearmen, pikemen, crossbowmen, thieves. I think we got this. Come at me, you monkeys. All right. The thing that's nice about having a mobility, too, is, like, if I have to go back and get different items, or, like, repair my items, I don't have to, like, necessarily wait super long, like, six turns, because I have, like, I have pretty high mobility with this hero now. Well, like, with other guys, you don't even really have that as an option, so it just takes you forever to move around. You can build uh, stables and stuff to kind of expedite it, so you can have, like, a little leapfrog system where you leapfrog back to your base. Oh man, these guys are just getting wrecked. I think we're gonna we're gonna win pretty quick. The cool thing is, every time I win on one of these shards, we basically get cooler shit, which I fight against next time, or which I fight with next time. And then, you know, the enemies are gonna get harder. They'll start having harder guards for me to fight, which actually is really frustrating sometimes. Because for whatever reason, sometimes you stumble into this like guard that you're like, how the hell do they have a guard that does? 
like it has like six tier three units in it and you're like i'm never gonna defend that there's a crossbowman get out of my house dude um heal you finish Okay, defense plus one, nice. Shield bash, nice. Parry, very nice. Okay, we have an event. A shaman in the province of Archer's Thicket, which is the province I'm now in, um, has found some rare mushrooms in the local forest. Their uh, exact increases of, their extract increases the magical potential significantly. Gathering such mushrooms will lead to significantly higher gem income for the province. However, the forest plot where the mushrooms grow is scheduled to be cleared soon. If you cut the trees down, the mushrooms will disappear too. Uh, but if you forbid the clearing, it will harm your gold income. What are your orders? I think we'll forbid the trees to be cut down. Oh, we've got all these horse provinces. There's there's somebody down here. So I think we're going to go... Oh, we have a, a sorcery store. Man, this map... There's a knowledge store and a sorcery store. This map was meant to be played with the wizard. Except I wouldn't be doing nearly so good, I don't think. Because <sighs> I think scouts are just way better early in the campaign. Um, I think we're going to go here. This is a not great income place, but we'll go ahead and put a sawmill and we'll put some guards. I think here we could actually go ahead and do the patrolman. There's another player, I think, up in one of these other corners. I'm not sure where. So we're going to go attack him. I think we got it. Okay, the deputy of the province of Lucidium informs you, oh, so this is on our capital, um, that a hero known as the Snake Hunter turns up in their lands and has slain a giant snake. Such high rates, let them deal with it. I can't, I can't afford it. Okay, let the alchemist do it. Order a potion. And the spider raid ceased temporarily, but the solution fails to eliminate the root of the problem. Okay, we probably pissed off our local population some. But they're still pretty happy. Okay, in this province, we have a casino. A skeletal pack. Where are the horses here? They're guarded by barbarians. So, if we're going for the long call, we potentially could do that. But I, instead, I think what we're going to do is we're going to plop down a mill. And then we're going to hire some more patrolmen. And then we're going to send these guys to attack their capital. And that, my friend, is how it is going to be done. Let's see what they have in their capital. Okay, it's just the Steve's card again. I think we can handle that. Thief and a bandit. It's also been two hours. So, actually, I guess we're going to play through. Okay, again, this is, it was easy last time, but it's kind of deceptive. Like, it can all go to shit very, very quickly.
Okay, very important to kill the poison ones first. No poison, poison, no poison, no poison, no poison, poison, poison. Okay, so this guy is the only one in range that's poison. Okay. Some poison coming in. Okay, we need to get the guy who's poisoned probably out. Pull him back. See, look, this guy almost freaking just bit it right there. We're probably gonna have to... How many poison stacks does he have? Duration 2. It's more important to kill him. I want to use the stone thing on him, potentially, but... through the hard part but like if you don't kill them fast enough and they get to do a few more poison stacks you guys just dissolve okay we got level 10 i think we'll go for the archer trade again be cool but if we got this all the way leveled up that would mean our main guy could summon a demon i don't think we're gonna get four thousand gold though like 800 gems yeah that's kind of cool enchant your arrows Deleting. Okay. Um, I think we'll fight. The There's a gargoyle, which is scary. So with flying units like we're about to have, uh, how you position your guys is very important. So this guy who's kind of damaged is going to be in the back. Wait, whoops. And then here... This guy's probably going to be here, and I'll put him, like... I think this is going to be our formation. How he has gargoyles, don't know. What was that? Fortunately, we have a crossbow, which does armor-piercing damage. Which is very nice. Just doing magic ball doesn't do much. Yeah, they're done. Gargoyles are pretty good. They're actually pretty scary. If you don't have a box formation, they'll like fly over your units, pick off your weak things. They have pretty good protection. So I didn't. I should have probably pulled up their stats to show them to you. But yeah, they're pretty sturdy. I think that was our arrows breaking. So this is the warrior hero. So his stats aren't too impressive. He has a lot of hit points. He doesn't have very good gear. If he had better gear, 
be more, but he has precise strike, so he goes through armor. He has pretty high parry, stunning blow, recuperation, blacksmith, which actually is pretty important. Um, but how about them apples, huh? You don't have double strike, do you? Hero has fallen. We got some cloth bracers. We'll take stamina. We'll take first aid. We'll take stamina. I think we'll take precise shot here. Begin siege. So now we just have to wait a few turns as this plays out. We got Arcanite here, which would be actually a pretty damn good resource to get. And how much... Okay, we probably should look at building the appropriate buildings here. So this... Um, I guess we'll just continue our pub campaign. Let's take a look at our... Okay, so this thing's burning out. I don't have any more... You don't necessarily need these, but they're kind of important. But since we don't have any more important battles yet, we just have to bust through their cap and there's no more units, we'll probably be okay. Like, if we were going into a hard fight, that would actually be a big deal. And I didn't buy backup ammo, even though I think I built the building. Um, okay, so a trader from a faraway lands are offering you 200 gold in exchange for several virgins from the province of the Valley of the Swords. Not a bad day deal, I agree. We don't sell our subjects. It's good karma. We don't need money now. If that were at the beginning of the campaign, I would have accepted that. I thought we were being evil, though. I guess we were. Maybe we're just going to do the evil shit. Probably with being evil? Actually, I don't know. I think I need to read up more. Maybe by the next episode I'll have figured out the consequences. So at least I understand it when we're making the decision to be evil. Did I build a pub already? Didn't. And our main capital, I don't think there's anything left here we terribly need to build. We could build an outpost, but yeah. Kinda need to build the mall, but we're not gonna have that. We could potentially get another hero. We could get our wizard. Five turns, build a pub. Pubs everywhere. Four turns. An epidemic of black pestilence has broken out in the province of Old Fields. Many are dead. What do we do? Hire he healers? Sure, we've got plenty. Glory to the healers. Okay, the healers worked. Um... We need more pubs. Pub for everyone. Upgrade to a tavern. We got money. Income 160. Nice. Continue the siege. Perform a cleansing ritual. So the cleansing ritual worked, and the people of Lucidium are healed. In their joy, they forget about the witch burning, although the witch is still caught and tied at the stake. I guess we better have burned her, just in case. Yeah, of course. So we're still laying siege. We still need to be building pubs, because we're about to have a celebration party as we conquer this shard. And I want everybody to have alcohol. Okay. Let's use the witchers. Okay, we got a bird eater egg. We don't have the right thing to... Not to summon it. You need like a special thing to summon creatures, but we could actually use that to summon it and then get a cool unit to go in our army. So 
Too bad we don't have that tech unlock, but like later in the game we'll have that. Okay, more pubs. Looks like you guys all have pubs. Not everybody has a pub. We will find the publess and we will pub them. Okay, I guess we're gonna start upgrading pubs. So you get a tavern now. Income steadily climbing. Hopefully we'll be at 200 soon. If we get a thousand, I think we're gonna get another healer. A thousand gold. God, it's a long siege. Okay, there's somebody here. They potentially could attack. We've got adventurers who are kind of weak. The nice thing about once we take this is we get a storehouse here, so we can actually repair our gear. Oh, you don't have a pub. Okay, assault. We have waited a long time to see your shitty little dudes inside. I wish there was a way to speed that up. It's just so long. Ten turns just sitting there ending turn. It's kind of ridiculous. Like, ten turns in this game is a long time. haven't min-maxed this right. By min-maxed, I mean I've kind of completely fucked up my formation. The game is not over after I take this. There's a whole other AI I have to go kill. Okay, our formation is slowly getting unfucked. How am I going to get my healer to that guy? So one of the local lords has been defeated and is no longer an obstacle uh, to your quest to seize the shard. Excellent. So uh, we have an event too. Uh, there's one more local lord we have to conquer. A fire has broken out at the sawmill in the province of Rejuvenating Thicket. It's uh, not yet too late to do something about it. What are your orders, sir? Organize a rescue to the workers. Douse the fire. I can hire new workers. Save the workers, we can build another sawmill. Very discontent. Where did I build it? Where was the sawmill? It was here. Big Papa can afford that now. So, okay, we have uh, an outpost and a storehouse here, so we can actually repair all of our gear, and hopefully hire some... or buy some better arrows, so we won't run out next time. A bird eater spider. That would be cool. Too bad we can't summon it. Okay. Um... I think the only thing that's left is just come up and conquer these guys. Like, I'm not even going to bother with, like, taking this other stuff. I think this map's ours. I'm kind of ready to go to the next shard. Uh, okay. Do we want to build anything in our capital? We have a shit ton of money. No, not really. There's not any other big advancements for us to build this early. All right, checking in chat real quick. It looks like Weyton signed off. Uh, don't forget, you now have double shot. Yeah, gargoyles are nasty. Okay. So now we just push towards the end. The thing is, this game gets so much cooler later. There's like hundreds of units, and the units all have really cool ways they evolve. 
I think the tactical combat in this game is awesome. Alright, come here, buddy. It's gonna be easy. A gang leader? That actually looks kind of hard. Shit. Okay, a front line's gonna go a long way here, but they hit pretty hard. We've got to keep our healer out of range of these archers. So this is the hardest fight we've had so far. This is... This is serious. In terms of terrain, there's two archers at the bottom. This guy has high ground. This guy has high ground. So it doesn't... I think it's better to be up here in the woods. I think we can shoot and then we can potentially steal ammo. I, I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get in range of these guys, so I think we're just going to suffer archer fire. Just move this guy back. We'll kind of get our line set up here. And I'd rather have a lot of them low health than finish them off at the moment. Taking hits is going to damage my armor, which is going to be annoying because then it has to be repaired. Let's take a look at this gang leader. Two very good attack stats. Lowers morale when he hits. He has this crippling strike. When attacking an enemy in melee, the unit reduces the target's speed by one for two turns. Uh, a crippling strike interrupts the enemy's ability to hit and run, preventing them from returning. Uh, returning. No effect on incorporal. Okay. Kind of good, but not super scary, at least at level 2. A lot of these units get way better when they level up. Like, they get traits that kind of completely redefine how they, how they play. Like, you know, poison attacks. That's why I was, like, checking for the assassins. Or, like, for the thieves. Okay, we need to get this guy healed. Gonna do a little rotation here. I think this guy's actually gonna move out. Shoot the gank leader. Now, if they all focused him, they might have killed him. I kind of made a mistake by moving this guy here. Okay, they're now in range of my healer, which sucks. So we kind of have to pull him back. He can't move through a unit, so he can't get back here. So I actually kind of want to pull him back, attack him. Pull him back, attack him. Here we want to kill an archer. Here we want to kill him. Probably should have moved him back. He's a little exposed. Okay. Let's just try to get as much healing in as we can. Do we have any more ammo? Okay, we're out of healing ammo. Okay. Order of the Victor. I haven't seen this one yet. Increase. Oh, no, I have. Increases counterattack by four and damage by two. Yes, please. Award them with that medal. Range defense. Nice. Resistance. Okay. And I think we're going to keep charging upwards and onwards. Uh, this has. I forget which guard this. Does it say? It doesn't say. We'll find out. The not super duper hard guard. Okay, we have a thousand. I said if we had a thousand, we might get another hero, but I feel like that's just going to slow the game down.
because we are really on our road to winning, so I'm just going to power through it. I don't think I'm even going to do the pub thing. We're just going to, like, rapidly kill things with this army. So we're going to form this line. Shoot him in the face. I think we're going to let everybody else kind of finish this off. Bloodless sounds kind of cool. I don't actually know what it is. Let's check it out. So, damage received increases units' morale by one. Also, killing an enemy in melee boosts morale of the, uh, of the unit by an additional one. When killing her on a counterattack... Okay, it's only cut in half. So, it's a morale buff, so it kind of sucks. I probably wouldn't have gotten it, but now we know what it is. Iron. That'll be nice to secure. We've got a tailor shop. Which actually we're going to go into, because we have a shit ton of money. And there might be something cool. Enter the shop. Look at the goods. Hit points. Hit points stamina. Hit points. Hit points. The ambassador's ribbon, a cloak. A skillful diplomat. I think somebody was talking about that. You need diplomacy. Might get that. It's kind of expensive. Range attack plus two on a glove? Okay, that's a no-brainer. We're buying that. The Emissary's Hood? What is this? The Ambassador's Ribbon? Oh man, that's expensive shit. I don't know what Skillful Diplomat does. Where's my Diplomacy skill? My, I have a Diplomacy skill? I don't see a Diplomacy skill. Maybe this is what I need to do some of the, the race racial quests. Some of you probably know. Anyway, I don't think we're going to get it, because we're not going to be doing racial quests. But, we do need to repair our fucking items. Okay, uh, we have an event from here. The deputy of a province of Alicia states that a wandering drow wizard has arrived, asking for permission to open his own shop. Grant him permission. So we have a shop that opened up here. A sorcery store. Was that it? Okay, we need to kill this guy. This is probably their main little army. So let's see what they got. Come at me. Okay, the province of the Valley of Signs. Warriors and bowmen. He'll regret this. Damn coward, he runs, of course. Thieves and bandits, I think we can handle that. We've done this before. Okay. We're going to have to see where the poison dudes are.
Got one down. Okay, so only these guys are poisoned. So this actually is going to be easier. Because we have significantly fewer poison dudes. Uh, so we'll just shoot these guys at random. Okay, that was easy. Shoot you in the face. This duelist is pretty cool. I kind of dig him. So this actually, this is reliable. We got this through a building. So we actually could get duelist every game. Parry skill. Precise strike. I dig. It's pretty killy. People don't counterattack to him. Does he have that as a skill? Oh, he does. Agility. So that's pretty sweet. Go ahead and heal him, and then he's gonna run in and smack this guy in the face. Okay, we've got some poison effects coming in. I'm gonna shoot him. And there we go. Okay, ranged attack plus two, that's actually huge. Hit points, defense or ammo? Oh man, I want both of those. I kinda want ammo more. Attack, defense, yes. Okay, attack, this is the hero army. Shit ton of archers. This is like, you would win as barbarians, but it's really hard if you have barbarians to not lose a highly experienced one. Gonna hide this guy in the back. We're gonna put. We're just gonna bum rush them. And our guys are really defensive oriented, so we're not gonna take that much damage. Okay. Kind of hurts though. Clearly needs to get back. Oh. Can't let my hero, my healer, get anywhere close to these archers. Oh. Holy shit! Okay, we're gonna need to build the outpost building to get another, a new recruit. I think I'd die if I stay here. I'm gonna pull back, and if I move my healer forward, my healer dies. Can we steal some of your ammo? This guy only has three ammo left. We can make him worthless. Yoink. Thank you, sir. Mm. 
do kind of want to heal. We'll heal you. I want to see if this works, the magic weapon on my healer. So right now he has zero ammo left. He's out of ammo. If I cast magic weapon on him... Okay, he does have two ammo left, so he can heal more. So this actually turns into like a healing spell. That gives me a side benefit of increasing this guy's attack, which I don't really care about, but it's cool to know. Okay, we lost one of our, like, a level 7 dude, so that's obviously not great. Okay, that was a little event. Uh, so now we actually need to get uh, an outpost. Which, I forget the way to do that. Okay, it's... This building. So we're going to do that, then we're going to construct an outpost here. Now that we have an outpost, we can hire another dude. A sniper? Why would we not want a sniper? Um... Yeah, we're getting a sniper, Mom. It's a mercenary, but we have a shit ton of gold. Let's go ahead and put a guard here. Okay, we kind of spent a lot of our gold that's been building up. The enemy is doomed. Okay. Whoops. Sorry. Nailed the mic. Uh, okay, I think we're going to put him here. Put you here. I guess this is the upgraded version of a slinger. She's uh. now dead. Yeah? You come at me? Yoink. Shit, what is this? Oh, the drow. We could try to integrate the drow. I forget what their quest is. Let's just see what it is. Let's see what they ask. Go ahead and put a guard here in case something bad happens. Negotiate. The leader of the drow warriors, what is your business here, surface dwellers? How dare you set your filthy boots on our soil? Answer me, human, or your flesh will be ripped from your body. I guess I don't have enough diplomacy to do this option, because it's grayed out, but I have a hundred crystal. Okay. We tried, guys. Question is, where are they? I have a feeling they're in this corner, but they could also be back in this corner. It's pretty hard to know. This would actually be nice to control. 
And this would get us some Mandrake. Grand Healer, attack. Okay. Uh, okay, we'll snipe him. I guess this is the Grand Healer. I guess this is what the Healer evolves into when they get level 10. It's kind of cool. I mean, we're going to murder them, but... Thing is, like, healers depend on having tanky front lines to be useful. Or, like, basically the quality of other units is going to determine how useful healers are. This stack sucks. A lot. This guy can do blessing, which is kind of cool. Okay. Thank you for playing. More ammo, precise shot, reaction. Command plus one, we can have another unit. Think about it. So bandits have assaulted the governor. Okay, it's kind of weird. We've had, yeah, okay. It just so happens to happen the turn we take over this province. It's a, a bandit raid. Okay, so here's an assassin. This was, I think, what one of you was talking about. Like, there's a, a guard you can get that has assassins in it. They have poison, they have parry, they're pretty damn good in melee. They have very high attack. They have uh, agility so they don't get hit. Or they don't get counterattacked. So they're pretty good. Uh, unfortunately for them, 17 HP. Ideal 17 damage. And I have a huge amount of damage mitigation, which means... Oh shit, he's not dead. But... Okay. Just... Oh, god damn it. Okay, I don't get to show off and kill him in one turn. Too bad. Normally fighting in swamps is actually really bad for your defense, but because we're a scout, we actually get, like, favored terrain. So it removes all penalties from swamp tiles, which is pretty sick. And that's from my, my hero. It's not, like, associated with that particular unit. Okay, I'll move you back, I'll move you up, move you, move you forward, move you forward. Just kill him, actually. Okay. Hit points. I think we'll go with magic resistance. We'll go with attack. Got a gut ripper sword. Excellent. So, brigands in the province of the Valley of Swords have carried out a uh, daring robbery. Having easily killed the escort, the robbers have taken away uh, everything of value and returned to their secret lair. The damage costs you 260... Seven gold. Assign more guards to tax collectors. I probably just wasted 500 gold there, but that's okay. We're doing things that are chivalrous here at the end. To justify the evil things we're going to do at the beginning. Next turn, let's hire a gang of thieves guard here. And I'm beginning to think their headquarters is on this side of the map. We'll be able to tell probably this turn.
Yoink. Okay, that's my arrows going out. Which turns out is not the end of the world, but... This guy's got double shot. I'm gonna be a little careful here. Yoink. Okay. Meditation, nice. So every time we rest now, we restore ammo. This actually is a really big deal for healers. Because now we can basically kind of do unlimited healing. Okay, experience in combat has allowed this unit to achieve a new level. Uh, this unit is able to increase defense by 3 to the end of next turn at the cost of lowering his attack and passing his turn. When activated, the unit um, gets vigilance. Let's try that. Oh, here's their capital. Perfect. There's a store here, too, which I think we're going to check out, because that will allow us to repair our items, which we really need to do. Enter the shop, look at the goods. Morale, stamina, trinkets, jewelry doesn't often do that much. So what we're going to do is sell this. We're going to sell that. We'll repair everything. And then we're going to go attack here. And then we're about done with this stream. Because uh, after we take this capital, then we'll have conquered another shard. And uh, I'm going to go put my chickens up. Who are running around in my yard. I've got... Listen to this. You won't even believe this. I When my dog... When I first got him. So it's a Czechoslovakian wolf dog. Uh, so it's a breed that was in... Uh, it was basically done in the Czech Republic to get rid of some of the health issues that German Shepherds had. Um, so they bred German Shepherds and Wolves together. And basically, uh, it looks like a wolf, acts like a wolf. I mean, it looks like a wolf and acts kind of like a dog. Kind of like a dog. Because <laughs> they, they got rid of a lot of the aggression and stuff. Um, but anyway, they still have like strong prey instincts and things like that. So the cool thing is... Uh, Oh, we didn't look at his poison. What is he talking? This one is? Okay, just those two. Okay. So the cool thing is... Uh, I have gotten my dog to... Uh, look after my chickens when I'm out there. Because sometimes the hawks will get them if they're free-ranging. But the hawks won't mess with them because they have to eat them on the ground if my dog's there. Because the dog would mess with the hawk. Uh, but the dog knows not to mess with the chickens while they're running around. Uh, and part of that was because when I got him and he's a puppy, I had him sit around with him all the time. So he doesn't, he still kind of looks at him hungrily, but he also kind of knows they're part of the family. Okay. Oh shit, that was probably the wrong call. No, if they have poison, it makes all the difference here, and these guys don't. Yoink. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Just make sure these guys are healed up before we go into the final siege. Okay, nice. Precise shot, I dig. Begin siege. Make an agreement with them. I don't need their services. Okay, so now it's actually going to be pretty easy. We're going to put a guard here just in case somebody comes mustering along and I'm not paying attention because we're about to speed through this. Um, but, okay, so anyway, back on the dog story. Um...
it, uh, I still feel a little anxious while I have him out there. Like, I'm here with headphones on recording, and he's out there alone with, like, six pretty young chickens. <laughs> I'm like, hmm. Oh, nice. This isn't nearly as long of a siege. Okay. Assault. Come at me. More archers. Guys, I can't even tell you how not afraid I am. Archers. Didn't actually mean to do that. Okay, there we go. And like that, we conquer the shard. So we got all this stuff. Uh, we got a shit ton of points. And we got strategist, which I think you get this from not having any units. Oh, we had one unit die. This is from like maybe never having to re uh, like get your lord back. If we had didn't have to lose that one guy, we would have gotten another ward, which would be pretty cool. But we got a ton of points. I don't actually really know what these points are for, but I'm glad we got them. We did good, guys. We did really good. Um, and, yeah. Pretty sweet. So, let's take a look around at what new shards we have, and then we'll probably log off. Okay, so we got the Assassin's Guild, which is kind of cool. This will allow us to get uh, Assassins, which we saw in there kind of cool uh, in that last fight. Um, I don't know, this may actually open up the, like, the assassin unit. Uh, like the, I'm sorry, the assassin guards. Not sure. Sorcerers are kind of cool. Not super cool. They can summon imps and stuff, which I kind of like. Dungeons. Uh, this was a province we saw last time. This right here, uh, this gives us guardsmen, which actually are pretty dope. They're pretty good. Like pikemen, they're they're defensive, but they have first strike. So people will come up and just kind of like die to them. So they're pretty good. Um, Jousting arena is pretty solid. Pathfinder's guild, pretty solid. Riding group, these guys are decent too. This is going to unlock a lot of the mage paths, like the cool mage upgrades. So we can't really, like, we need to get this and then some other stuff before we can really start playing wizard. Because you really need, like, the next level wizard research to, to play that reliably. And then you also have to kind of roll a, a swamp position. But I think it's kind of probably the more fun way to play. So that's it, guys. Uh, we finished another mission. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, maybe we turn up the difficulty setting. Maybe we go up one from competent. Cause, but then maybe we get smashed. So, I don't know. It's a bit of a grab bag. Uh, take care, guys. I'll see you. Actually, before I go, we'll... Um, I'll just read through the comments. Um, okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like too much was said, but good night and happy hunting. Okay, and then, yeah, we had one guy just arrive, Elder God. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, we're done. So anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. See you all next time.